Hi guys, I am Attila Mayerek and this is my YouTube channel. Hello Marianne, welcome in my show. Hey, hello Attila. You live here in Vienna. What is your story? Why Austria? Why do you live here? Yeah, we are here as a family, you know, in Vienna. Actually, we have been here oh, for, for 10 years already with my husband and our two children. And uh, we moved to Vienna because of challenge and adventure. We wanted to get to know new people in a new environment and also, of course, create a good quality of life for us and especially for our children. And Vienna, the capital of Austria, is a very multi-culty town. For you, the Hungarian culture, for example, is important? For me personally, of course. <laughs> I am so lucky that I could uh, start my small business uh, called Kultpult, where I could meet a couple of like-minded people who are very enthusiastic if, if it comes to culture, uh, especially the Hungarian culture. And actually we were able to build together a community related to culture topics, where we could create and organize events, music, theater, literature events, for example, not only for adults, but also for children. For example, we used to organize camps for children uh, during the summer break. It was always the great start for these Hungarian native speaker children before they started their summer break. It is always, or it was always a very nice tradition in Kultpult. And Hungary is not far from Austria, but for you, what does to you to be a Hungarian here in Vienna? Yeah, to be a Hungarian here is a very nice opportunity, in my opinion, to be open and also very creative because I think the Hungarians are very creative. Besides that, I strongly believe in collaboration and I think it is very important to build bridges between nations and actually find new connections and yeah, literally connect people with each other. It is, uh, doesn't matter where are you from. The only thing which counts that you are a great person and the great person, the great people should meet. And the Hungarians are very creative and the Hungarian language is a very difficult and very complex language. And we have tongue twisters. You have maybe a favorite tongue twister? I have a great story before I would try to, <laughs> to have something like that. I used to teach Austrian people here in Vienna that uh, wanted to get to know our language, our mother tongue. And it was always a challenge to, yeah, to meet them and uh, get to know their feelings about our language. It is a very, very great opportunity, actually. But yes, according to these people, Hungarian as a language is very, very difficult. So I can try, but I'm not sure that I could do it. As ipafai papnak fapi van. Ezért az ipafai. Papi pa, papi, papi pa. Well done. <laughs> Thank you guys. That was for today. See you next time. Bye.